Hello, welcome back to Relax Karel channel. So my name is Karel, you can call me Hila. Um, so this channel has been working on MetaHuman, VL, AL, or maybe some 3D CG stuff. Uh, so in the coming MetaHuman series, uh, I'm going to talk about um, more on how can we create MetaHuman from scratch on our own and maybe some update like this video uh, on the MetaHuman and also some news from Japan uh, about the VL and the AL industry uh, that I think I could uh, give my two cents in. And uh, sorry for some of the people who have been waiting for a new update, um, but my work is really busy. This is just my interest. Um, my interest is try to help people to uh, do the stuff uh, that I'm interested in too. Um, but uh, I just released a game in Tokyo Ikipukolo. Uh, there's a game called Space Cube uh, with Taito. So hopefully when you guys come to Japan, there's a chance you could try it. But anyway, so today's video, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a really fun project that a guy called Macro, uh, I think his name is, his game tech name, GitHub, GitHub tech name is called Jim West. Um, he's doing a really good job on trying to apply Google Media Pipe uh, tech uh, by using machine learning, uh, which is where Google trained their data. And after that, he just applied it and using OpenCV and um, and used Media Pipe uh, and interface it and actually output it to be a specific IP and port uh, and able to use in live linking in Unreal Engine. So I I think he's really great. Like people know that could happen, but never there's no one actually do it. And he actually did that. So I think you guys should give him thumbs up and support his work. Uh, I'm gonna put both link in the description and I'll, I will also share how can you, uh, where can you download the uh, project, the uh, the exact file for your Windows machine. So what is the best of this uh, thing is in the future, if this develop properly, uh, we don't need to use iPhone or Android. You could just use your webcam. Uh, so I think that is uh, one of the really good thing. Um, but Unfortunately, without the um, true dev camera uh, with live link, you probably uh, won't get as good as accuracy. And probably because uh, this is a pre-release, so there still need to be a lot of improvement on how can we tune and calibrate the project. Anyway, so let's get started. All right, so. We, as you can see on the left, we have the GitHub link uh, and there's the release button and I'm gonna click here uh, and I'm gonna forward you this link in the description. And also uh, on the right there will be the Google project that uh, we are applying to uh, using the media pipe in this project. And uh, thanks again to Jim West, Macro. Uh, he did a great job on even package it on the exit file. So if you don't know Python, don't know Git, don't know anything about it, don't worry about it, just click this button and download it, and it's done. All right, so after you download the project and I assume you uh, unzip it to your location. So in my case, I unzip to the project file. Um, I unzip to my G drive project file. So I unzip over here. So I unzip over here. Um, as you can see, so there's a path for this, uh, and you you need to go to command line uh, on your command prompt. So you need to open it uh, and change your drive. So so by just g colon, and then you're able to go to it. I mean, just press this. Great, All right? And then now you. You get into G, G drive, you could change the C drive anyway, uh, but I'm my own T drive. So and then you change the project. So CD mean change directory. Um, there's a simple way to do this. You just copy this or you just drag it. Ta-da! And then you get your path. And then you just press enter. And then now I'm there. And then using DIL, you see a directory. Um, you see it's over there. And then after that, uh, you want to put the exec file. And he also did the documentation on this. Uh, let me put in here, put over here, and then you're able to see this. So, so you just need to put, first, you need to choose your camera. So hyphen hyphen input. 
space. So input space, uh, what you need to do uh, is you need to find your camera first, unfortunately. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm going to test it on zero first. Let's see what do we get. Holy cow. All right, I need to stop my antivirus. <laughs> All right, I need to stop my antivirus. I stop my antivirus now. Uh, great. So I stop my antivirus now. Um, and did it block my application? All right, it, it blocked my application. I have to try it again. Um, oh, wait, it's here. Great. So this is not the software we want to see. This is not the camera we want to see. Um, we tried the other one. So now I tried the first one. All right, unfortunately, it's still the black screen. So you want to press escape and you don't want to press this and you don't want to force to close it. If you force to close it, you are risking your camera didn't destroy properly and there might be some weird issue on your USB. You would unplug it and plug it again or maybe restart your computer even. So just press the escape button on your keyboard, uh, left top corner, uh, if you're using a normal keyboard. So done. Um, and let's try the second one. I have around six virtual cameras. So um, this takes me tons of time. But if you're a normal computer, you only usually need to try two, like zero or one, and it's done. All right. So we got my face in now on the, on the, uh, on the thing. So can we, can we, all right. So, so we got the camera now. So let's try. So you can see it actually get my face properly. Um, but unfortunately in the life link, uh, it won't get my rotation properly. It probably didn't do some tuning at all. And then it probably just, have some simple adjustment and then go to Unreal Engine Lifelink directly. So when I trying to post, when you're trying to post, you try to go directly to your webcam or if you have a cap, you just use it and attach your face maybe um, so that it go to the center of your face. Uh, it give you the best result. All right, so now let's go back to Unreal Engine. All right, so for the people who first joined this channel, uh, you might want to go back uh, to see how you import MetaHuman uh, or maybe create your own character like I did uh, for my Wukong character. So I did that. Um, I created my custom clothing. So there's the YouTube link. Uh, maybe I'll put in the description too. Uh, so try to watch it and then you'll be in the same place I am. Uh, I changed my color recently too, but it was originally like brownish yellow color. Anyway, so let's choose the Monkey King. Um, and then you'll see the life link face over here. Um, make sure you choose your project. In my case, it already came out on Python Life Link. Face? Really? 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 So, on my local host, can I just do this? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wait. Wait. It, it actually works? Alright, so it actually works on local host. Uh, all right. All right. So, well, um, I guess that's it. Uh, it, since I'm using the same computer, you could just use on local host. Uh, but if you're using on a separate computer, you could try on using the IP. Um, so after the input, you just need to put IP and then, uh, type it in like the lifelink. Uh, you just need to figure out, uh, your IP address and that's it. But, in my case, since it's on the same computer, so the local host already work. So you can see if I line up my face to the webcam properly and then go left, right, down, up. Uh, well, well. All right, so moon, 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 moon. The fight. Right, right. 
All right, so it's kind of working, right? So, I I mean, the quality is not as good as AL Kid, but you're not paying anything.、Uh, you don't need an Android phone. You don't need an iPhone. So,、uh, I think it's a really good start、uh, for people.、Um, and actually, a big thumbs up、uh, to Macro. I think he did a really great job on this. So. Anyway, please support him, and if you are engineer, maybe you can support him on how to、uh, calibrate it better.、Um, and I think there's a huge potential in this project、um, to help a lot of people that only have a webcam. But、uh, if you want, desperately really want a really good quality、uh, by just using Android or maybe even webcam,、uh, I recommend you to use FaceWire.、Um, they they are really kind and good people, and、uh, they did a good job on. Helping on the calibration and on mapping on the、uh, MetaHuman too,、uh, but if you have an iPhone, I mean, just buy it. But anyway, so hopefully this will help a little bit on some people, and hope you guys have a great day. See ya.